All right, welcome to our first episode from Chapter 2B, which will be over carbohydrates and lipids. But before we learn about carbohydrates and lipids, we need to learn about the chemistry of carbon, because none of these biomolecules would be possible unless we have carbon. But before we even get into that, we need to learn about the major elements that are found in all living things. And this is basically carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, nitrogen, and sulfur. And if you can remember, chomps. I know it's not that good of a uh, memory device as you're used to, but it'll work for us. Okay, so carbohydrates are gonna be found in all biomolecules. Same with hydrogen and the same with oxygen. So we're always gonna find those in biomolecules. Phosphorus, you're gonna find mainly in nucleic acids, such as DNA and RNA. Nitrogen, you're gonna find in DNA, um, RNA, so nucleic acids, and you're also gonna find those in proteins. Whoops, let me spell proteins correctly here. And the sulfur, that's mainly a protein thing. All right, so you're gonna find these in all four types. I mean, these are where you're gonna find them in the four biomolecules. All right, so let's get rid of that. We'll move on to the next one. <clears throat> all right, really what we're starting to study here is called organic chemistry. And organic chemistry deals with anything that's got carbon in them with one exception. Carbon dioxide is not considered to be organic, but everything else with carbon is considered organic. Now, why is carbon so important? Well, number one is it has four valence electrons. This means that carbon can join with four other atoms, including itself. Now, when carbon can bond with other carbon atoms, it can form these great shapes. So I want you to, uh, we're gonna zoom in here onto this picture. And in this first one, this is what we call a carbon ring. But you see this here off to the side? That's a chain. So that's a carbon chain. Here we've got another ring and another chain down here. And if we go up above, this is simply a chain. Now you also look in this one, you know, we've got a lot of carbons and hydrogens, but we can also add other things to it. So think of carbon as like a scaffold or a backbone that we can build a lot of stuff on. So think of like uh, your basic Lego, an erector set, um, a Kinex uh, toy. Uh, just think of carbon as all little pieces. You can keep adding to it and make all kinds of different shapes. Mm -hmm. um, now that's going to do it on this episode. It's very, very simple. So let's review. All living things have, or the, the elements that you're going to find in living things are carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, sulfur, and nitrogen. Organic chemistry is the study of carbon. Why is carbon so neat? It can bond with four things at once and it can also bond with each other to form these lovely shapes you see over here, which would be chains, rings, and chains with rings on them. So until the very next episode, we're going to catch you on the flip side.